every week I do one. Um, you already know. You already know. I wish I could show the other one. We're not going to go there, okay? I'm not even going to pull up a picture because showing it on my stream has <clears throat> been an opposite thing for me. So we're going to show this one just for today. This, this is what I got last week, you guys, at my uh, – this is what I got last week, uh, right after my show of last week, just for today. Um, today, is two day, today is two months and two days for me, Big 90 coming up. Um, so, yeah. I guess I want to share that one with you because everything is just right on time. Tomorrow, we're not going to worry about tomorrow. We're not going to worry about next week. We're going to worry about just for today and what we can do to just be better people out here in this world, you guys. Um, another thing I want to let you guys know, we are doing Christmas boxes for kids, okay? Between the ages of 2 and 4, 5 and 9, and 10 and 14, you guys, boy and girl, go to my Instagram. There's a link in my Instagram on how you guys can help. We are going to be doing these boxes and um, we're going to try and get as many uh, uh, Christmas boxes for the kiddos for, for Christmas. I'm very excited for this. Please be a part of that. You guys, there's stuff on there for $10, 10 bucks. You can send me 12 coloring books to put in these boxes. They're this size. It's called Operation Christmas Child, you guys. So check out that. Um, so can you ladies request the box? You guys, this is charismatic before... Um, behind the ink, you guys, check out that banner. Um, I do this every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to get right into it because that's why you guys came, was to get a little story behind uh, 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 the tattoos. Because everybody has those tattoos where you're just like, you just see a person and you don't want to be weird. You don't want to go up to them and be like, can I touch it? I don't mind now. Now that I'm all blasted, I ask them. You know what I mean? Cause I like, or if I'm wearing a sweater, I'm like, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Trying to pull it down so they can see my artwork. You guys get what you pay for. Um, so make sure if you guys want to get blasted, go do it in the shop. I highly recommend it. Do your research. Um, tonight we have three females on the show. You guys, Peaches, request a box. I'm going to go ahead and do you first, girl. Um, shout out to Kickside one more time. I have to guys give her all, I have to just give her so much praise. Um, because she brought two of these uh, lovely young ladies that I have not even seen their work yet, so we're going to see it together, which is going to be fire. Um, let me introduce you to a good friend of mine, you guys, Peaches. I've known her for a very long time on the app. And Peaches, I hope you're ready, because, um, yes, I, I'm going to put you on the spot. So you can either do it before, after, or in the middle, whenever you feel. I think it's very important when I have people on my show, especially ones that I've known. Um, Okay, so can you turn it? Can you do you have headphones, babe? Mm, they're broken. Okay, they're let broken. me see if I can get mine. Okay, let me see if I can get mine in. I think it's better now. Did the uh, did echo go in? Okay. I good. didn't even hear an echo, but yeah. Yeah. Oh, I think we're good. I think we're good now. Just turn your volume like a little bit down. Just like a little bit down, and then I think the echo's good. Can you guys hear her okay? Can you hear me? Say something. Yep. Perfect. Okay, so hi, Peaches. How you doing? Hi. I see why you always stream in the car now. I see why you always stream in the car now because you're you're freezing up a little bit. I don't know if there's any way where you can go to the car and I can throw on, I can I can do another guest if you want to try. Maybe try that out so I that way we can talk to you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so uh, um, I'll throw, I'll throw, um, uh, let's throw simply in, the, uh, I think you guys are both in the box. Okay, guys, so this is before, this is behind the ink. I keep wanting to say before and after, guys, which is Aaron Kirby's show tomorrow. I'm a guest judge on there, so please check that out. Um, behind the ink with Charismatic every Tuesday nights, okay? Every single Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Um, I'm going to put Simply in the box. So everybody welcome Simply. Everybody welcome Simply. Let me get ones for all the people that are in here. I want to know how many people stay for the entire show. That's my goal is to keep you guys entertained, keep you guys wanting to know what's behind the ink. So I'm, I'm going to do a roll call throughout the whole show. We're going to see who's here and who's not. Um, Simply, welcome. Hi. Hi, baby. How are you? Oh, I see you. I see you. Welcome. First of all, thank I'm you. Like, I know you're a little nervous. nervous. I know you good. You good. You good. This is a big show for me, girl. Um, you know, my first ever banner, female empowerment, female. So I Wait, love by the way, I love females. it. I love the purple. Chris did an amazing mm -hmm. job with that. 
the media team. <laughs> yes, man. I'm super stoked about it, you guys. So simply tell us a little bit about yourself real quick before uh, why I pull up your tattoos. That's a great question. I never know what to answer with that. So we're just going to okay. say thank you. <laughs> um, so I'm from Chicago. Originally, okay. I guess I'll speak to how I started on the app. Um, originally, I started about three years ago. I was only a gifter. I had three accounts. They okay. all got deleted. This is my third one. I came back in Sheesh. April. Yeah, it's been a journey. Okay. Um, but I officially, okay. officially started streaming again. Um, I want to say probably about June ish. So I've been on here and I've been hella supportive, trying to like, you know, trying to get that women empowerment like you. But all I keep getting is the guys got stuff. You, I, I still got love you guys. <laughs> Got you. Listen, listen, I got you. So welcome. Um, you know, I want to get into the, uh, you know, to the tattoos because I've seen your work. Um, uh, I'm looking at it now and I, I just, I love a woman with tattoos. And I think as society becomes more open, you know what I mean? To yeah. tattoos, you start to see a lot more uh, women being able to express themselves and get tattooed and everything like that. So let's get right into it. The lion. We see a lot of lions out there in the world. A lot. So what does this one mean to you? So I'm a Leo. What Leo is not going to okay. get a lion tattooed on them, you know? <laughs> um, yeah, so for sure. For sure. To me, aside from looking at it as just being a Leo, um, I've I've come through so many journeys in my life where my, my zodiac sign just stands so strongly for me. And it gives me that much mm -hmm. power and that encouragement to know that I am that strong to keep getting through things. So my Leo is huge to me. That's why I had to go big or go home. Okay, so where'd you get that at? It's on my calf muscle and it was a pain in my ass. <laughs> okay, okay, a pain in your beef. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see, sorry, I see. So that, oh, no worries, no worries. Anyway, so I got one on my calf muscle too and everybody's like, oh, that's gonna hurt. But I don't know, I don't, I, I just keep waiting for tats to hurt more than like a few seconds. Really? More than a few, like, Z -Z. thank you for the gifts, you guys. Yeah. Um, so I have a big old, nice, pretty pink, uh, colorful fairy. Um, I love the Leo. I like that you got the mouth screaming. I feel like that's a fierce thing. And I do not have my zodiac sign tatted on me yet because I'm an Aries. I'm a fire sign. Oh, so I definitely sign. do plan to get. I definitely plan to get, you know, my, my horoscope and my, my uh, sign definitely rears its head a lot in my life. So this. I could definitely vibe with that. Yeah, I don't know if you know this, but Aries and Leo are both fire signs, and we are very compatible, whether it's friendship or relationships. So I do know that. I do know that. I, de I definitely dated a few Leos in my life. Okay, <laughs> my earlier then, so I know it's real. Um, shout out to Kickside, you guys. I ca I cannot shout her out enough because she's super talented. She does merch for a lot of people, including my block, James Andrew the Third for Top Badge. Let's keep shouting that. out out um i love this picture you guys look at how kickside threw all these together you know what i mean as one or maybe you did i don't know but it looks like you work right here um i love how she just did this so it looks like you had a prayer and you covered it up i'm hoping you covered it up because of the handwriting because yes. i feel like uh i'm like why in the world would you ever you know want to cover it up you know you know um yeah, I did cover it up because of the writing. Um, believe it or not, when I took that picture of it starting to get covered up, that was about like maybe a year or two later. So you can see like some of the words emerging together and it was just, it was hideous. I, I couldn't read it for the life of me. And I was, that prayer was actually something huge to me because that's the prayer that my grandmother said on her deathbed, so. Okay, um, but I mean, uh, it's kind of a, I don't believe in coincidences. Um, this this prayer is a, is a huge thing for me in my life. Um, sorry, I'm trying to get them focused on there correctly. Um, the serenity prayer. So question, I mean, do you have, I love the hummingbird. I love the hummingbird. I think the hummingbirds are very beautiful. Um, are you planning to get that serenity prayer somewhere different? I am. Um, I'm planning on getting okay. it on my wrist. So this is a really good cover up. Um, yeah. I like it. You know, I like the roses. A lot of people do get roses. I just like, I love hummingbirds. I have two hummingbirds on myself. 
Um, and I just love hummingbirds. I think that hummingbirds are very peaceful. And, you know, one of the first things that I bought for my house when I moved here was um, hummingbird feeders because my first tattoos in a shop were our hummingbirds that are dripping watercolor which my yeah. watercolor kind of got covered up, but I got two matching hummingbirds. So like in my pictures in the beginning on Meet Me, you can see, um, you can see uh, uh, just hummingbird, that's it. You know what I'm saying? And it actually had writing, which was trust no beep, boop boop, right? That's yeah. covered up now. So I love the cover up idea. I love, I wish I could cover up some of them, but they're too dark, but does the hummingbird mean anything for you? Um. So the hummingbird, you know, like, it's rare that you ever do get to see it. And when you do, it's like, wow, it's like you're capturing that one beautiful moment in life. So to me, it's like that thing that really stands out. <laughs> okay, okay. Cause you know, they fast too. They just yes. Yes. They come over, but don't let you not have no juice in there right now. You know what I mean? I, they be, they be thugging on me in my backyard. If I go out there in the morning, like after I just got back from my walk, I'm trying to drink my protein shake. Like I just see them like buzzing around, like back and forth because I haven't put any juice in there. So see, you just I'm reminded me to put some that. juice in my hummingbird feeder. I'm in um, there. All right, let's get to the next one. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, you don't have any, you don't have many over there? No, not a whole lot. It's too hot for them over here. Okay. Okay hot man i love hummingbirds i love the sound that they make they're very peaceful all right so let's go into the next one you know i just really like your answers i'm very impressed uh shout out to kickside one more time because she she gave me the recommendation and you know I, i'm just glad because you talk very well and you know what i mean and your meanings are just a little powerful so everything i like i said i don't believe in coincidences i believe that your your story is part of my journey as well so thank you for being a part of this you guys this is before um be, uh, Behind the Ink with Charismatic, Tuesday nights, every night, every week at the same time, you guys, 9 p.m. Um, this is Simply, and these are her tattoos. You guys, let's get right into it. So is this, this is another cover-up? Yes. Okay. And it looks like it looks like you started off in the streets, and then you were like, no, we got to yeah. get some professional. That That's <laughs> exactly what it was. Like, it was just a friend. <laughs> he did some really good tattoos at home. I was trying to be supportive, and I was like, I got to catch it. Yeah, I, you know, I just, I can't tell people enough, man. Listen, stop being that well, that person. Yeah, he was just starting out. I wanted to, no, be, like, let him start out on someone else, and then yeah. get it after he's good for a while, because, <laughs> Uh, thank God for cover-ups. And, and did you get these now? Uh, the ones you're, who did it later, it's a different person, obviously, correct? Yes. He, it's a different person, um, but the one that you keep seeing doing the cover-ups and the lion is all the same person. Okay, so what did, what did these cover-ups cost you? Uh, uh, as opposed to the first ones, it looks like they probably might have been a little free. Um, hopefully, I hope, I hope they were free, the first ones. Do you really want to know how much all my tattoos cost together? Almost. I mean, of course. You know, everybody does. <laughs> 500? Oh, so you win it. You definitely win it. Yeah. You yeah. win it for sure. I love the way that this comes and wraps around. I love this. I think that is so sexy. The way that this feather continues on like this. I'm looking for the front. That's the front. Is the This is the front part on your yeah that, I that's love right that. here that's this guy right yeah. here that's my baby and i was just about to say i love how you wore classy um i love the cross on your neck and i love how you wore the classy outfit for my show i really respect and appreciate that um yeah that's beautiful so what does this mean to you so believe it or not the top half of my body is dedicated to my grandmother and you'll you'll kind of see it as we're going through the tattoos so this little boy is just, basically he's writing out the story using the feather and that feather was free drawn. So he's writing out the story okay. between the beautiful things in life, which is the hummingbird and the roses, according to the prayer as well. And he, he'll soon to be drawing out like the bad things that are in life that we usually forget about, which come to death then, unfortunately. So death, sickness, whatever you can think of. Thank you, T. Okay, so then, so basically the front of the little guy um, is open, and so you're going to branch off into that. Um, now, are you going to have him write out a prayer? Um, so he's actually going to be- Or do you know how, where you're going with that? 
He's he's gonna be an guardian angel? of the angel to my grandmother because she passed away. So okay, yeah. I'm really uh, uh, interested. When was the last time you got tatted? It's been way too long, man. It's been like at least five Girl, years. I'm like, I'm feeling I hope that I'm motivating all of you guys. Hi, everybody. Welcome to my episode six, Female Empowerment Behind the Ink with Charismatic, guys. Um, this is Simply, and we've been looking at our tattoos. So you listen. I hope that this show motivates all of you guys who love ink. Yes. Like, save some of your bread, you guys, and go start getting some, you know, one tattoo every few, five, six months, guys. Go start getting this work done. Um, yeah. Because art is such a beautiful thing, girl. I'm really excited, and I hope that I can motivate you soon, girl, to go get another one. Because let's okay. finish this. You know, my tattoo artist tells me, right? He tells me, uh, you know, uh, he always thought I was joking. I don't know if it's me or if it's her. It's her. Okay. I was like, wait, what I do? Thank you, everybody, for all the gifts. Thank you. I appreciate it. Psych, freaking remix. Anyways, so I was saying, um, type one if you guys are still here. Um, so he always just tells me the amount of um, people that uh, the amount of time that it takes to get something like that finished. He said it takes some people 10, 15 years to get um, work like that. And usually it's because of the money. But girl, go go start finishing this piece, man. I'm really excited to see um, what, what you're going to do with this. Um, you know, and if you ever come out to California, you know, I always tell everybody, um, let's go. My tattoo guy, he's open. He's ready. Um, so this one, let's go. Let's, let's keep going. So this one, um, this is literally right, I want to say a couple years after I lost my grandmother. I free drew this one myself. And I was a little confused on like how to do everything um, with the font that I went with. When I was drawing it out, it looked horrible, but it says family, one love. It's a reverse word. And so my tattoo Ooh, artist- I didn't even see that. So long. Yeah, it, I got that baby. Right here. Ooh. Um, Ooh. But I got it done in Chicago. So that's why it's been taking so long. I'm in Arizona, but that's close to my heart because that's where I think family should be. Ooh, I like, you know what's crazy is as you were talking to it, I had already skipped to your next picture. And then you told me it said one love and I skipped back. And I was just like, okay, I see, I see you. Yes. I see you. This show gets better every week. Like, you would never know. You would never, you would see that tattoo and be like, dang, is that supposed to be a different letter? Yeah. That says family. And if you look down at the bottom, upside down, that's one love. That's lit. It's the simplest thing, but it's it's an amazing meaning and just a super lit concept. I really, I think, I don't know. I don't know. I think, I'm, ugh. You got some fire tattoos, girl. I'm not even going to lie. I love your meanings behind them and everything. Welcome. Hi, Kenny. Um, welcome, you guys. This is episode six, Female Empowerment Behind the Ink, every Tuesday nights, 9 p.m. I know you guys seen that banner, baby. Um, simply, let's go. This is the last one we got, baby girl. This is my puppy's paws. I had him walk in some paint, um, and so I never got it done. I used to, like, dry it out, but when he passed away as well, I know I have so many deaths in my life, but when he passed away, I decided to get a tattooed behind my ear. That way, like, I always had him with me. I feel like everything on the left-hand side is close to the heart. So that's where it belongs. So that's just my okay, baby's Okay, okay. If I could throw something out there, you know, I, I, see, a, I see a lot of um, different meetings between, you know, their tattoos and the good and, re and bad reasons that they get them. But, um, you know, as your life becomes brighter. Yeah. Um, go towards it. Bring some of those darkness into something bright. Yeah. Um, I would love to see that. I can't wait to see. I just want to say thank you, girl, once again. Um, if you guys don't have her favorite already, this is Simply. Go check out her live stream, you guys. Um, thank you for being a part of this, girl. Female Empowerment, Episode 6. I hope you had a good time, girl. I love the meaning behind your tattoos. You guys, everybody give her a favorite. Thank you so much, Simply, thank girl. Thank you so much, Char. All right, girl. Um, 
Yes. All right. Type ones. Let me get ones. We're going to keep the show going. This is amazing. Female empowerment. I know you guys see my banner. Shout out to Kickside, you guys, who is a major, major, major behind the scenes player for Behind the Ink. She creates my merch. She creates uh, uh, my block merch. James Andrew for top badge. You guys, please go and check these people out, man. Everybody in here, you guys, I see all y'all. Episode six. So it's about time that some of you guys make it. I just have to point that out right now because pretty soon it's going to get crowded in here. And pretty soon people are going to be asking me and I'm not going to have to ask any of you guys for, to be on my show. So the ones who have been here from all five and six episodes, you guys are the king. So I'm just saying, I'm just, just saying, I love you guys so much. Um, Let's go. Um. Um, excuse me, Peaches, are you in here? Peaches, are you here, Mama? Request the box. Um, thank you for everybody for being here, you guys. We've got a lot of featured content creators in the app, in my chat right now. Bob, Chris Casper, who else? Who else a featured content creator on the on the app? Blake Premier. I want I want you guys to favorite these people, man. They have featured. Uh, Aaron Kirby, I'm a guest judge, Team Shar. His show is tomorrow at 4 p.m. California time, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, check out content. Co check out content uh, uh, creator shows on here, you guys. We're going to move on to Georgia. Georgia! I'm just here for the cloud. We'll roll it, Kenny. You want some cloud? Roll it! Sheesh! Look at all that. Up. Hold on, I got to fix my light. Sheesh! Okay, I, you know, I really got to start meeting these people before we go ahead and start interviewing them. I'm just saying. Uh, What's up? Uh, oh, shit. Hold up. One ooh. second. Fuck. Hold on. Do a, oh, oh, peep. We got it. We're, we're featured content creator. We're number one trending right now. We got to watch our language. You look fire. A little oh, bombshell, you. are you? you okay, so introduce today. yourself to my live. You got a lot of eyes on you right now. This go ahead, is, go ahead. Is, Tell us about yourself. This is okay. So this is my seventh day on the app. Is okay. right now at this moment. Um, okay. I'm a photographer. I, you know, I cook. Bitch, learn okay. to cook, man. Are you single? Recently, yes. I just got Ooh, a divorce. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, you know, I don't mean to put you on blast right there, but you know, I wouldn't be sure if I didn't. Um, so, anyways, yes, people favor her. Seven days on the app, and obviously, it looks like she's doing good. Um, I love your tattoos. I love the color. Again, I wish that my tattoos had color on there. Um, but my artists, some artists are not color tattoos. I, you know, my little uh, meet me ones that we've done two said <laughs> we've got two times already. So your skin tone, I always keep pointing this out, is so fire because you can hold colors that a lot of us can't. So I know you. You probably changed your whole outfit when you started getting all this done. You know what I mean? It's beautiful. Oh, Let's I just, get right I, into I it. I wear black pretty much yeah. all the time. Yeah, but you, you know, show this off all the time, right? For the most part, yeah. But yeah. you know, you know, people know me by right. my tattoos where I live, so I kind of kind of cover up or how how much would you say you spin on the front part of your tattoos? Okay, so that's I I spent I spent years of abuse getting that done. Okay. So okay, so my let's get right into it. My ex-husband was a, a tattoo artist. So the lower portion, we won third place at um, the Tattoo Invitational at Evergreen, Evergreen Tattoo Invitational in Oregon. Um, Wait, let me just, I, I don't mean to interrupt you. Chris, that's okay, right? Just to, just to ask you real quick, uh, sorry. It's blocked out, and we and Kickside did an amazing job on that, guys. That's okay. I, I show that, so I just I just want to make sure. Um, okay, so you wanna you want a convention with this one? Just by yes. itself? Was it just by itself when you won that convention, or did you have all that? I had the whole thing, and it was we spent. So I had the owl first, and then I got the Lady Davis, and then I got the lower portion. Lady Davis okay. is being removed right now, actually. Um. The Lady Davis is what? Is what? Oh, 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 I see it. I see it. Okay, good. Perfect. I just want to make sure before I take it off there. Okay, so Lady Davis, let me blow it up to where you guys can actually see what she's talking about. Um, That's getting removed. I've done one session. It's fucking painful as fuck. Yikes. 
and you can't just oh watch him oh sorry <laughs> we got to keep our language proper. um so you can't you have to get it lightened up you're good you have to keep it lightened up um before you can start redoing it huh unfortunately yeah, huh? So, so my ex-husband was a you know legit tattoo yeah. artist he is he's an award winner it's it is what it is but okay yeah well, that's fine so, like, i mean i mean listen you got a good start but those ain't the, they they ain't the end of your tattoo career um what was what was the owl mean what's the owl mean to you i see you got a lock and a key in there i see some things going on with this tattoo the colors are pretty so i drew the owl okay. that was my design um so the property that I grew up on, that I actually live on now, I built a house on it. Um, we have a family of horned owls here. So Ooh. it. Um, so are you like one of those ones with the glove that you catch an owl and they'll come land on you? Oh fuck no, I can't do that shit. <laughs> but they're like, I, I feel like language girl. <laughs> like, oh, language. Okay. Um, okay. So uh, let's go. Let's uh, a whole thing owls um yeah no they're just amazing and they live for a really long time so the owl that the owls that have been around since i was a kid are still on this property okay i like that i have a, a deer that was here when i first moved here that's kind of just become a fa uh you know like part of my family um so Birds let me go over to the next really one wild let's see so we've got these ones kickside shout out to her again who's rolling my images together for me um let's start at the top one so it looks like you've got a hand holding on um what's it holding on to is that like a a whisk it's a whisk yeah okay okay but it's not a mixing pancake mix what's it what's it stirring up over there it's just it's part it's my chef's sleeve Oh, okay. That's, so you're a chef. That, yes. So that's what I'm working okay. on um, with my new tattoo artist. So this arm is like my first arm that has no trauma related to my tattoos, which is fucking Yes, amazing. girl. That's what I wanted to hear. Oh, oh, that's what I wanted to hear is that this is your first, um, this is your first arm. Uh, you know, I like to, I like to always find the good the greater good because a lot of people do get tattooed um based off of um you know all dark times so i i love that i love that you finally get to you know start doing some tattoos that'll actually mean something on your body i really like that yeah, um I mean, let's go to this side got your this, knife that's my chef knife yeah so okay so what's it wrapped in so there's rosemary, garlic, and onion. Garlic. Okay. And the snake, does that represent anything to you? That is my most recent one after I found out my second husband was cheating on me. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's, it's Very no wonderful reading of tattoos. I've got the one snake I need. Okay. That's perfect. That's perfect. We're going to try to see the, the good meaning inside of that snake, which is that just to remind you keep the snakes away um so let's go ahead and, and flow to the next one we've got um let me see here um okay looks like a some pretty simple ones over here but i i'm seeming i come to see it and realize that you know there is no such thing as a simple tattoo anymore like everything's got you know some type of meaning or value behind it so let's start up at the top one skulls we've seen a lot of variations of skulls so that is a piece by a guy named John Uzuro. He is, he, he's an artist. And I was like trying to look him up online tonight to make sure I had his name right. But, um, so that was done by my ex-husband. That was the first one that he gave me, which was, um, you know, before he was pro, it took okay. eight hours because, <coughs> wow which is insane. So it, it, it took wow. that amount of time because he was using like a three round. Wow. So he just kept going over and over and over and over again. Yeah. That thing so started up pretty good, huh? Because like, you know, the, 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 the shape of the tattoo needle and how many needles are in it are an important thing. So there's mags 100%. and there's rounds. 
and 100%. that was so it seems to field. be that yeah it seems i mean you know a little bit about what you're talking about so i definitely want to bring up the fact that um i believe you used to own a a, a, a tattoo a tattoo parlor so you know kind of like the back and the ins and outs of competitions and things like that which is definitely a side um that i love to see my artist has actually asked me once we finish all this which um january first first week of january i'll be getting my um gastric sleeve surgery so which is why i don't have any of the insides of my ta of my tattoos yet i don't have any of that yet you know for you girl um thank you thank you very much you know i i'm wearing i'm wearing i made sure i wasn't inappropriate today but i'm wearing overalls for the first time ever today so i feel very good about myself i'm not even gonna lie um, when i was able to fasten them i was like oh we're in here guys let me get once for everybody who's still here once for everybody who's still here let's get down to this butterfly let's talk about this butterfly loving so the colors i like moths. the colors oh psych let's get down to the moth let's go to the moth <laughs> which is funny because i can't stand moths they're like super creepy to me but and they're you know, super annoying they oh. are and i can't, I can't <laughs> stand moths fly right in your face like, coming a fear just put that put it on your leg but i actually yeah, ended up um, getting a massive infection from that tattoo it sucked oh oh okay well, you know, I'm really excited to see where you'll be at in about five or ten years with a whole bunch of different tattoos and a whole bunch of different meaning. Um, for real. And if you ever come out to California, girl, or if you ever end up linking up with us somewhere, let's let's link up and get a positive tattoo. I would love to get like something positive that I see you golden, my little queen. Um, who guys, Vegas this weekend. If you guys don't know, I will be in Vegas. For anybody who wants to come, come out there. We've got, you know, me, James Andrew the third. A lot of people are going this weekend. So be a part of that. Georgia, thank you so much for being on the show today. I really appreciate you. This is episode six of Behind the Ink, which I do every single week at Tuesday, 9 p.m. If you guys are interested in being on the show, um, Behind the Ink 2.0 is where you need to send your tattoos. Send your tattoos in. We'll get you scheduled on a show. Take me seriously, man, because like you see us out here. We're doing things. We want to know about your tattoos, even ugly tattoos. I want you to go ahead and I want you to send in your bad ones because I want to start doing a little roaster session of botch or blasted. So let's start getting those bad tattoos in here. Thank you so much for being a part of this, girl. I really appreciate you. Thank Everybody you. favorite Georgia, you guys. Thank you so much, girl. Thank you for being a part of this. All right, guys, we have one more guest for you guys. We have one more guest for you guys. Um, and I'm really excited about this one because she's absolutely amazingly gorgeous, but beyond her gorgeousness, um, she's super talented. So I'm really excited to um, uh, get Peaches in the box. We're hoping that um, she, she's got some good Wi-Fi because um, first of all, Trekker, sit down, okay? Peaches and I have been together for a long time now. Um, we just haven't been public about it. Um, everybody, welcome, Peaches. I'm going to put her on the spot today, and you know for what. So I we're going to need to hear some of your angel voice. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, Trucker, don't play like I won't kick you out, I'm just saying. Um, yes, <laughs> everybody, welcome, Peaches, who's stuck in a lit position right now. Can somebody screenshot this for us? All right. Oh, 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 we switched out a little bit. Oh, okay. Are you, are you posing for the screen? Oh, there you go. You're back again. Okay. Dang it. What's up with your internet, man? I'm, I need you oh, right Lord. now. I need you right now. I know. Uh, it's working now. It's working now. So let me, you want to sing, but you want to do a little acapella something before something after. before after. Hey. Oh, I'm singing too? Just a little acapella, just a little just a little quick little verse. Quick little, quick little verse. I'll do it. I'll do it after. I'll do it after. All right, bet. All right, bet. Guys, this is Peaches. Tell us about yourself. Um. Uh, well, my name is Peaches. I'm originally homegrown and corn-fed. I'm from Georgia. Um. I live in Utah, and I am. I got tattoos and lots of issues. That's me. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> she comes with a warning label. Um, as you can see, I think all four of us tonight have, um, you know, uh, uh, have, have put off a little bit of trouble tonight. So it's okay because God's working in all of our lives. And, um, you know, this is an important episode for me. 
Uh, and and, uh, and I'm happy to have each one of you, especially you, girl, because we've known each other for a long time on the app. Um, we've literally been like two, three minutes away from each other and ended it twice and didn't get to meet each other. Twice, and so I know. I know that I know, I know that someday soon I'm gonna get to see you because you're such a beautiful soul and you are such a strong woman, girl. And everything that you're going through, I I will pray for you. And if you ever need a friend, you know I'm here for you, girl. You're a beautiful mother, a beautiful soul. And I recommend that all of you guys favor her um, because she's dope. She's so dope. So let's get to her tattoos. Um, let me show you. So this first one we got here, explain a little bit about this. Um, I'm actually, I just barely passed. That is uh, Addicted We Stand uh, ribbon. And I actually just barely passed nine years clean and sober off of heroin, methamphetamines, and crack cocaine. So I got this for my nine year celebration. So um, it's me breaking my family chain because it definitely, it definitely runs in the family. Like, we're a bunch of alcoholics, we're a bunch of dope fiends, we're a bunch of just like, we're just a bunch of renegades. And um, this chain right here is actually me breaking the chain, being a better example for my my child. Um, and this is actually the Addicted to We Stand ribbon that because we stand together even if we're broken. So, and it doesn't affect that. just one, it affects us all. So I got that one when I became nine years sober. Dang, I love that. I love that, girl. Congratulations. That's Uber goals for me. Um, you know, there's always been a reason why I bond with so many of you guys. And it's through, you know, it's through that dark place that we all know so well. And I mean, it, if we ain't out here leading by example and, and showing people that we could do better as as people, you guys have watched me the last three years of my life. And you know, you have you can't deny what's going on in my life right now. And, and it's all because of God. And, you know, Peaches, you and I bonded over that. And we bonded over our love of music. So this is a big deal. And it, and it, and it happens for a reason that you're on this show tonight. So I love you so much, girl. I'm so proud of you. You. You, are, you are breaking. That is so proud. That's probably my favorite. I'm not even going to lie. My favorite tattoo that's been on the show the entire time. Because not only is she um talking about her addiction and what she's doing to better herself as a mother as a single mom she is breaking the chain of her family because i know i lost my mom you know at 47 to this so you know peaches you're a strong woman girl you're a strong woman and you know you you lead by example girl i'm so proud of you man i can't i can't let me move on because you know i get emotional so, now that i'm now sober that just, you know, <laughs> now that we're sober and we have feelings we just cry about everything. Let me get ones in the comments for all of you guys that are still in here before my eyelashes fly away. Everybody. <laughs> yes, let me get ones in the comments, okay? Who's still through the show? If you guys set off aside an hour for Shar, thank you for that. And if you guys are just making it, this is Behind the Ink with Charismatic. This is my sixth episode. So thank you for finally making it to one, you guys. This is Peaches, and we're just starting on her tattoos. So let me go ahead and flip on to the next one or whatever, right? So these ones are all three together. Um, let me just show one at a time. Uh, I love your skin tone, and I just, oh, I can't wait to see you covered, girl. It's like when I see you are such a bombshell, and you're just so smoking hot. It just makes me want to pay for a session. Like, girl, let me get four hours of tattoo work for you. I'm just saying. Explain what we got going what? on. I got you, boo boo. <laughs> What do we got going on here? Okay. What's this one about? Okay, so this is kind of separated into one big story. Um, this is an actual photo of me and my son. It's just a silhouette and a tattoo. Um, and so this lower half is an actual photo. I lost my daughter actually four years ago today. Um, she's in God's hands. And... Uh, we have all three of our favorite planets. So we got Saturn, which is me, and my daughter, which is Mars, and then my son is Pluto. And then our worlds are colliding in the back. So whenever we're looking up, she's looking down. So this whole thing is just, I didn't want to be too cliche and do like um, what everybody else does. We had, um, we're really big into solar stuff and uh, we love watching the stars. 
and we'd look for planets through a telescope, even though the majority of the time we couldn't even find any. We were just having fun. And, uh, and four years ago, actually today, I buried my daughter. And uh, so that one is a huge, huge, huge meeting to me. So, uh, yeah, whenever we're looking up, she's looking down. Even though she's looking down, she can still look up at us. So I feel it. Girl. So I, I got it. it. Um, I got goosebumps. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I don't know about you guys in the comments. And I'm not crying. That's why Are you guys crying? I'm so blessed to be on this show right today. Like, if I could get my message out to anybody, anytime, today would be the day. You know, like, I've we've all been through some BS, you know, but I feel like I'm only 28 years old and I've already had to bury my firstborn. I've had to go through the whole drug addiction, the homelessness, the running the streets, the gang life, the, all this stuff. And if I could be on any show, if I could be touring anywhere, if I would not trade it for nothing to be with these guys. Like, seriously, mad props. Thank you so much for having me on the show today. Seriously. You're welcome, girl. And you, are, I mean, are phenomenal. Um, ooh, ah, it sucks. Oh, girl, listen, I hate having emotions. I'm not even going to lie. It's probably I'm one the I'm like, no. <laughs> like, I just want to not feel right now. But we still look, if we don't, if we ain't the best set of crying looking Ooh. ladies that I've ever seen, I don't even know, like, what to say, girl. I'm so happy that you're just here with, with us today because, you know, you don't just got me. You've got a lot of people in here right now that support you as a woman and as a as a mother and as a friend. And I hope that you guys I hope that a lot of you guys are gonna favor her and are gonna go represent me properly when you do see her live streaming. Um, you know, because it's like she's just had just a, a whole world of just just heartache, you know, and I and I can't wait to see your tattoos. And I always say this to people, I can't wait to see your tattoos transition into some into a celebration of, of 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 life into something more beautiful which is whatever's next to come for you because you know you are, have hit your you've hit rock bottom already so there's no way to go um but up and oh. and and if your son ain't gonna be one of the best most respectable uh um people he, i mean i don't know what else there would be um because you are uh you know, I don't see uh, any tattoos about the radiation and all the stuff you're going through with that. Uh, is that next in your future for you? Yeah. I already yeah. know. I already know. You are so strong. You are That's so strong. And I and I, I believe you're here. Yeah. I believe you're here. I see it. I see it. And that's why um, we, we just gonna let that be. We gonna let that be because, you know, there's a reason why you're here tonight. You are powerful and God is working so heavy in your life and so strong. Do you believe in God? A hundred percent, hundred percent. I would not be here today if I did not have him in my corner. There's no way. I feel it. There's no way. I feel it, girl. I feel it. Wow. This is this every single week. My episodes get better every single week. The stories get deeper. They get more powerful. I had two ladies on here that I didn't even know until tonight. I've had one that I've known since, you know, before I really started blowing up. Um, and I want to go into your um, your last tattoo that I have right here, which is this one on the side. Oh, hang on. Oh, oh shit. Hang on. Man down. <laughs> Man down. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. You're frozen. You're frozen. So we're good. We're <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. So we got the bottom one. Um, thank God yours are in a good place to show. Cause, uh, it looks like you struggled taking tattoos. I've been trying to get peaches on my show. You guys, funny story, right? I've been trying to get peaches on my show since I first started doing these shows. And every time I tell her, send in pictures, right? I tell her, send in pictures for me so I can get you on the show. Oh my God. She's so sending many. me body shots. She's sending me pictures of herself. I'm like, 
peaches can you send me some pictures of your tattoos because that's what we're going to be talking about um so let's go let's go you guys um uh, guys behind the eagle charismatic episode six female empowerment every tuesday nights um at 9 p.m if you guys want to be on the show behind the ink 2.0 send in your tattoos good bad ugly sad send them in send them in um pieces what do we got going on on this last one okay so this last one is actually a horned owl uh horned owls are known for wisdom because they reach the highest point to heaven and blue eyes because i have blue eyes and i've learned to grow with wisdom through my past and my grandfather actually is the one that gave me blue eyes so my horned owl has blue eyes i love that I love that. I see it now. I see it now better than I did in the picture. There we go. That's sick. That's sick. Oh, I can't wait to see where her power, where, where your tattoos are going. Um, I just, I can't wait. I can't wait to see your other side covered up. Um, I'm so happy that you're here. Thank you so much for being a part of this. I can't wait to see what your other side's going to be because you have great work already. And, and, you know, it's so dope. It's so dope to know that, you know, there's, like come on would you guys see that and really believe or think that there's so much behind that one her arm is like a whole history book it's a whole yep. history book and when when she when her son starts to get older imagine what type of life she's gonna create on that other side i can't wait peaches to see it so you know what's next you know what's next you know what i want from you let's i got go. you baby. do some acapella i already know let's go okay all right all right <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. I gotta think of a song. Um, whatever comes to your heart right now. Hang on, I gotta spit out my gum. One second. Okay. Um, some say love, it is a river that drowns the tenderly some say love it is a razor that bleeds it's only seed there uh -uh. that's not no uh uh i put you on the spot i should have gave you some time to prepare for this that doesn't do your voice justice girl that doesn't do your voice justice girl come on which other ones do you do you know you got that fire ass you know what let me do one for you, you ready i'm because i'm feeling. okay well oh, yeah. sorry you can't defy me sorry i break the mold sorry that i speak my mind sorry don't do what i'm told Sorry if I don't fake it. Sorry I come too real. I will never hide what I really feel. No, ayo. Just give me a little quick snippet of a of a cute little chorus. I know you got something. I know I you got do. something. I got high so question. many. I got so many. I know okay. It. Uh, man, I'm drawing a blank. Put another dime in the jukebox, baby. I love rock and roll. So come and take a time and dance with me. Guys, she is super Ooh. talented. Um, I hate that I I hate that I, I put her on the spot. I should have gave her a little bit of time. If you guys want to see more about what she's about, favor her. She does go live. She's fire, bro. And when I'm telling you that none of that does any type of justice for the voice that she has, she's beautiful she's talented and she's just a, a a messed up down to earth chick and we love those here so thank you for being part of you know i don't know if that wasn't the best compliment <laughs> <You're good>. <laughs> <laughs> i love you girl i love you and i know that one day soon i feel that it's soon in my heart i feel that we gonna link up together and i'm gonna be able to hug you person, and then we're gonna go get a tattoo together I promise Let's you, see. I know I will, because it, it's it's meant for us now, you know, not before, but now. I want to thank you for being a part of this. Um, everybody favorite peaches, you guys. Thank you so much, babe. Thank you so much. Thank you. I love you. <laughs>
I love you too, girl. Okay, guys. Woo! Episode six, man. If you just now get in here, don't worry. It's okay. You still have next week. If you guys want to be on the show, Lardy B. I don't know if you guys are aware of who Lardy B is, but do your homework. Next week, you guys, it's going to be Lardy B and her crew. You guys, it's going to be her DJ, um, Ace, and it's going to be her friend, all show musically talented. Um, so we're going to have music with tattoos next week. Um, and every single week, the shows seem to get better. Tonight was our female empowerment um, Behind the Ink, episode six with Charismatic. Um, I believe we got this recorded. So um, look for it on YouTube. Um, who's still in here? Type one, because I told you guys that I was going to be counting to see who's still here. Now, here's my part, guys. For Christmas this year, I am doing boys and girls boxes from two to four, five to nine, and 10 to 14. If you go to my Instagram, please follow me on Instagram, okay? You can click on the link that's in my bio, which is per your guys' request. Hi, Quest. It's per your guys' request. Um, so let me just show you, guys, okay? For 10 bucks, you can send me uh, uh, um, coloring crowns for $10, you guys. Uh, I mean, coloring books, 12 coloring books for 10 bucks. There's stuff on here for $8. You know, we've got, we've got a lot of kids out here. You guys that are, are not going to have a good Christmas this year. Maybe some of them that won't even have a Christmas. So here we go. 22 bucks. You can send 144 toothbrushes, you guys. You go all the way down to the bottom. There's something on here for every single person. Bibles for $2, guys, that we want to put in these boxes. For 12 bucks, you can send me 72 airplanes to make up these boxes for these kids, you guys. Let's do our part. 146,000 favorites we just hit. And I want to make sure that we can make as many boxes as possible washcloths um they gave us a list of items i created this list for you guys so please do your part and be a part of this if you guys order anything off of the amazon please put a note with the with the purchase so that i can put i can put the note inside of the box so everybody who's who's donated and done part of this i'm going to put a note in there from you guys to these children we're going to be able to track where it goes and i'm going to be live with a bunch of females building boxes together um so please be a part of this and help me use my platform for goodness um sundays you guys i do church streams every sundays at every sundays at um 10 30 a.m I do church at my service or wherever I'm at in the world. This week, I'll actually be in Vegas. So I will be going to a local church out in Vegas. Um, Sunday streams for anybody who needs to hear the word. Um, please come by. Uh, um, be a part of what I got going on right now, you guys. Be a part in supporting each other um, and, and just doing your part because uh, we're we got some stuff going on for homeless for Thanksgiving. Um, I'll be creating backpacks and things like that. I will be posting everything on my Instagram so you guys can see us making the boxes. I'll be live while building the boxes. Um, you know, in my recent two day, two months and, and two days, you guys, um, I've been, God's talked to me a lot and he's let me know that this platform is a big deal for me, but it's not the only thing that I have. So it's time that I use what I've created for the last three years and I do something, um, something worth a while. Christmas is for the kids, and I'm asking all of you guys to just do your part, man. Telling people, if you guys can't, then then do your part. Then tell people about it. Then let us know, um, because this is what it's all about. I got to go to my mailbox right now. I've already gotten five packages today. So we want to make as many kids' as boxes as possible. Um, I'm sorry I'm, I'm going into it a little bit longer. Shout out to Gigi, who rolled out a whole dragon for, for this cause, you guys. So please be a part of this. Be a part of my journey, because every Sunday I'm going to be doing something for something for something. So I've got, no, it's yeah, two months and two, two months and two days. So we've actually got uh, 63 days today. Um, thank you for being a part of this behind the ink every Tuesdays. Um, I'm going to restart my stream because it's, that's it. So when you guys see the picture,